removing the heater core hose clamps on a Ford Focus 2 litre and how to stop them from leaking. This twist clamp is notorious for being hard to remove and it also has a reputation for leaking when the vehicle has done generally over 100,000 miles. The grey rotating twist clamp has an upper and lower tab. To release the clamp you need to rotate the grey ring anti-clockwise by roughly 30 degrees. This ring clamp is virtually impossible to grip tightly with your hand. There is a small clip tool available to give you more torque and a better grip but I didn't have one of those. To help free up the twist clamp I sprayed on some WD-40 and waited a few minutes. I decided to use a long screwdriver with a flat head to move the grey ring anti-clockwise. It wouldn't budge so I hit the screwdriver a few times with a small hammer. I did break off one of the tab legs in the process but I got the job done. I then repeated the same process for the lower clamp and hose. I had to twist the hose and the clamp slightly to the right before it could be released. I did some research and found out that these twist clamps are called ABBA Twist Type 2 clamps and they are made by a company called the Norma Group. As far as I know they only sell these twist clamps to large companies like Ford so you won't find them in your auto stores. Now most people replace the entire hose as the clamps are pre-attached in the factory but the majority of these leaks are caused by an o-ring within the twist clamp and one of those should only cost you one to two dollars. I read one of the marketing documents for the twist clamps and it mentioned that they use standard o-rings with a heat resistance of 180 degrees celsius. It can be quite difficult to get the o-ring out so I suggest you use something similar to a dental pick or adapt a paper clip to hook it out. Measure the damaged o-ring precisely before seeking a replacement. When you put the new o-ring in place I recommend that you use some silicon grease to ease it into its groove. The twist ring should be turned clockwise to the lock position before connecting it back onto the heater core. The grey tabs on the locking ring should align with the notch on the heater core inlet and outlet pipes. Push the clamp back on and you should hear it click, confirming that it is connected correctly. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below. If the video was useful, please consider giving it a like or subscribing to my channel. Many thanks.